The cathedral bells broke the morning stillness. I wondered at the sound, since it was a Monday. Then I remembered. Of course, it is the armistice. How could I forget? This is what peace feels like. Forgetfulness. I stood in the hallway, indecisive. Had I come to collect the post, or was I going to the kitchen? Both passages called, one to the street, the jangling bells, the cheering crowds, the other to our table, the whistling kettle, my thoughtful son. He sat beside the teapot and the butter, a knife on the table and his notebook on his lap. His uniform looked crisp and clean, his thin moustache, not a man's moustache, Still my boy's unshaven lip twitched as he scribbled. A fine phrase had found its ink. Perhaps his musical assonance, a half-rhyme as dissonant as Shropshire church bells. He did not see me watching him, my poet's son. He was not writing for me, but for some strange friend from the tunnels of France or the parks of Craig Lockhart. Blunden, perhaps, or stern Sassoon. He will read it to us, later, to his father and sister and to me. We will see through his eyes the haunting flares, hear the stuttering rifles, and flinch at the monstrous anger of the guns. Then Mary will cut the cake, and Tom will light his pipe, and I, with my back to them all, will hide my tears, that mothers should learn such secrets from their sons. He looked up from his labour, and smiled to see me standing, staring in the hallway, among unblackened boots and umbrellas. Who was knocking? And I replied, A boy, just a boy, just a boy in uniform. And what did he give you? And I could not say for sure, but only... Words. Words on paper. Words from far away. I unfolded the telegram in my hands. It is my painful duty to inform you. By His Majesty's command... In his country's service. I said, I don't know what this is. And he replied, It is the wildest beauty in the world. The telegram slipped from my fingers. The kitchen stood empty. The air resounded with passing bells. Both passages called, but I bent over with difficulty and picked up the telegram. It felt heavy. Such was the weight of words. I carried it out of the house, into the cold November morning.